for brass, I will bring gold. And for iron, I will bring silver. And for wood, brass. And for stones, iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thine exactors righteousness. Let my soul bless Yahweh, the great king. For Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stones, thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold. And the streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with beryl and carbuncle and stones of Ophir. And all her streets shall say, Hallelujah. And they shall praise him, saying, Blessed be Yahweh, which have extolled it forever. We can look at the earth today and there are still even though this devil has destroyed and ruined the earth and polluted the world polluted the air polluted the waters polluted the food and the people and everything and the earth itself there are still places on earth that are so breathtaking and so beautiful even though it's still tainted but it's just so beautiful to look at you know being there can probably take off you know or bring you back five 10 years make you five or ten years younger 15 20 years younger just by the presence the aura of their place so just imagine how much greater the kingdom is going to be when the most High has on his right hand there are pleasures forevermore you know imagine how much greater and how much more beautiful the kingdom of heaven is going to be once it's established you know and these are things that we have to keep in mind because this is what we're fighting for. And seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye in doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather, seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have, and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. But where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh by Shemel All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we would like to give all praise on the glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Yahweh, there were honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutations, and hope like out there pushing his word and truth. And it's a theory across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom on to the hope for the believers, the listeners, whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right, with GMS Mississippi Camp coming with another weekly lesson. All right, and this week we're going to get into the watchmen versus the blind dogs. All right, and as we understand in the scriptures, you know, Yahweh by Shema Shah, you know, has given his men, all right, the uh, the commission of being watchmen. You know, part of being a prophet, you know, is to be a watchman, which is which is a uh, which is a labor, you know, it's an actual job, you know, held in the ancient world. All right, and it's our job today, you know, it's spiritual watch, you know. Um, uh, I want to get this, and then we're gonna get into the precept, you know. The brother got their phone and laptop on, I'm hearing a, a, a reverb. What you hear? I was hearing a reverb like somebody had a uh, 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 phone on playing the video. Uh, 
it's gone now though. But um so I just went did a quick Google search, you know, the duty of a watchman. And um when you go into it, it says the duties of a watchman can vary depending on the context. In ancient times, watchmen would stand in towers or <clears throat> or on walls to look out for dangers such as enemy armies and warn people so they could prepare. They will also guard fields and vineyards from animals and thieves during harvest time. You know, so a watchman was something like a, a shepherd as well. You know, but it was a, it was the pretty much the first defense. You know, of a city or a town. Okay, because they would be on the outskirts or in the towers. Okay. So watchmen had a, a you know a major responsibility to the preservation of the people you know in the town in the city okay it says in the bible watchmen were guards who protected towns and military installations from enemy attacks they would monitor approaches to the town and that's how we monitor you know false doctrine today you know even um certain men that pop up you know, they, they, they teach, you know, certain men, all right, and they, they, that's off, okay? But right, that's what a watchman would do. They would pretty much, you know, um, scan, you know, everyone that will come through or approach a town. You know, they would do a thorough, you know, investigation on anyone, you know, that will come up to the town. You know, you can just come in to an ancient city or village, you know, they will be, you know, watchmen. You know that uh, uh that you you know have to come by and it says it sounds warnings and have the town close its gates and prepare for battle <laughs> you know it says we have the town close its gates and prepare for battle the hebrew word translated as watchman also means one who looks out one who spies or one who watches okay so even when it says close town gates to prepare for battle, as you think of that in uh second area 16 and 40, my people make yourself ready to the battle. Okay, and this is a spiritual war, you know, in which our faith is going to be tested, you know. So as watchmen, we're watching because it, it also says one who spies out, you know. So when brothers go into articles and you know, brothers go into you know, watch the different news because you gotta you know, you gotta find comb, you know, through certain news and articles to find particular things out. So it's like one who spies. So it's like we're spying on this devil, you know, and letting our people know, you know, coming back with the report, you know. So the watchman, you know, had a lot of duties. You know, he didn't just sit in the tower and look, you know, like he was he was like an inspector, you know. He was, he, was, he, was, he was on guard, you know, he was, you know, um, always monitoring, you know, the movements, you know, spying out, you know, he probably was sent, sent out spies to come back, you know, with a report like a watchman, you know, was extremely active, you know, and this lets you know that uh, we're supposed to be active in his ministry, man, as watchmen, you know. Um, so we can go ahead and start. Did our brothers have something to add before I went into uh before we go in, before we go into uh Ezekiel thirty three? No. Come on, bro. So yeah, Yasha one, let's get that uh, Ezekiel thirty three and um So you wanna start at the top, didn't it? Yeah, it started at one. And you, you got Lamont. Is Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 1. Again, the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coat and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. God. So, like, at this present day and time, you know, the watchmen are the Lord's prophets. And the Lord has called forth his prophets, you know, to deliver the message, man, to give warning. And 
that 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 trumpet that we're blowing and, and that tower now is YouTube. Okay, and by way of the internet, logging on, you know, doing videos, and like the article the brother uh priest y'all brought out, the that 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 reading them articles and finding particular, you know, things regarding different prophecies that's happening when whether, whether it's coming to particular wars or you know, particular uh uh decrees these devils trying to bring forth, you know, that's that's like in a sense of spying, man, because you getting that particular information fine print or whatever, then you, you're reporting it, okay? So that's a part of being at watching it, man. And by way of the internet, we're able to send this message to give fair warning to the people of the things that's going to happen, man, where they can take heed, you know, repent, prepare for the things that are coming. You got it, brother. Verse 4. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take it yeah, out of If I can add real to Salaki, bro, um, just to add to what you're saying, bro, when it said, uh, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, so whoever you Israelites subscribe to, you know, if you subscribe to IUIC, those are your watchmen. You know, if you're following ISUPK, those are your watchmen. You follow an HOI, right. you know, or you follow GMS, whoever you follow, that's who you set to be the watchman over your house, you know. So you, you Israelites, you know, should should be doing a thorough investigation on your own, all right, about your watchman, you know, just to put that out there. But you got it, bro. So like you, bro. Uh, bro. You then who? Sorry. Verse four, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet. Uh, oh, I say, come. That's that's uh, you know, the people don't take don't hearken to take heed to the message that's being sent forth by the prophet. Man, there's going to be no excuse when you know. That, that that judgment come down upon you when when things start, you know, when say when when shit start hitting the fan, you don't have any understanding, you bugging out, you know, that's on you because the Lord is uh using his his ambassadors, man, his messengers, his prophets to give warning of the things that's gonna happen about the sword that's coming down, the great wrath that this devil about to bring upon the earth, Jacob's trouble, famine, pestilence, you know, war. Class wars, race wars, gender wars, just complete chaos, man. Collapse of the economy. You know, when all these things happen, it's going to cause people to be at a, 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 a state of alarm, alarm, if you will, meaning they're going to be in a, in a state of mind of survival, man. You know, so it, that sword is going to start coming in many forms, man. And we're telling people that the Lord is going to bring great judgment on the earth. So if they don't listen, they've heard it. But if they don't hearken, then that blood is going to be upon their own heads. Man. You got it, bro. Verse 5. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that take it warning shall deliver his soul. Right. And, and we trying to, uh, you know, through the spirit, how about you me outside? Do what the Lord requires us to do as far as being watchmen, being prophets, okay, reporting what's going to happen. So we won't have to uh, uh, suffer judgment for not wanting the people as uh, the Lord uh, ordered us to do, okay? And that's why these other groups, like the priest bringing out, these are these people watchmen. If you're tuned into these particular groups, man, and if they're not, you know, giving you warning regarding the karagma they're not giving you warning regarding jacob's trouble you know they're not giving you warning about you know just all the chaos that's going to be going down here in uh babylon the great then you know your evaluation was terrible because you know you spoke we supposed to be giving people the 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 the, the warnings according to they are as in the scriptures man 
you know, not uh, adding and taking away or playing, you know, saying particular things that's going to happen, particular prophecies that come to come forth, you know, taking them lightly. OK, nothing that the Lord is going to do or is doing is to be taken lightly, you know, but these watchmen that are not blowing the trumpet are not warning the people according to the scriptures, man. OK, they are going to have a lot of blood upon their hands, man. They're going to have to be they're going to be judged for uh, uh, leading or or allowing their flocks just to be wandering out there, man. You got it, bro. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Right, because we have that's a responsibility, that's a decree by way of Yahweh Shah. Okay, we're to warn the people. Okay, we are to tell them what's going to happen. You know, if 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 there's a pack of wild dogs around the corner and you come from around that corner and you see people headed that same direction, okay, you're supposed to tell them, you know, that's 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 the danger area to go. You know, there's a pack of wild dogs over there. You know, and if they continue to go on, what happens to them is on them. But if you know what's happening and you just keep pressing on and you don't give warning to those people, man, you know, that's your fault in a sense because you didn't give them warning. You know, you had an opportunity to have them to turn from the way they was going and you didn't. And see, and that's the thing when it comes to being the Lord's prophet, man, it's all about whether they hear or forbear. OK, you give them warning, you preach and teach to them. And if they take heed, they repent, they turn from their ways, then they start following the ways of how by sending me out to the best of their ability. They're going to start taking in what the prophets are saying. They're going to start hearkening to the words of the prophet because of the understanding that this is the word you have by sending me out shot. But, you know, if they're not going to hearken to the prophets, they're not going to take heed and they're going to continue to going down that path they want to go. OK, even if it's come to the fact that they're they're watching and not telling them. You know, they're still going to be destroyed, you know, but that blood is going to be upon the heads or the hands of those watchmen who knew better, called themselves prophets, who didn't give warning. Verse 7. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, Thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. And, and that's self-explanatory right there, man, again, because people want to think that this is just uh, um, something that men decide to do themselves, man. And we're just out there on our uh, own accord, just doing what we want to do. But no, the Lord has sent his prophets forth to give warning for him, you know. This is the words of Yahweh Bashimi outside. We're our vocal vessels of Yahweh Bashimi outside. So, you know, like I say, a lot of people probably take that lightly because they just see men out there, you know, not understanding that we're just not no particular men. Okay, we're coming instead of Yahweh Shah. And we're doing the will of Yahweh Bashimi outside by warning the people, man. One of the duties that we have to do. Um, real quick, brother, didn't have one. Oh, go ahead, bro. Yeah, real quick, I want to get this account because what we have to understand is you know, this is an ancient book, you know, so you have to understand how things were done in the ancient world, you know. And when the Lord says if that watchman, you know, pretty much didn't perform his duty, you know, that you know. Uh, the blood of the people would be on him, you know, because what we have to understand in the ancient world, when you had certain offices and certain jobs, and if you failed at your task, you will be put to death. Okay, so we want to get a, a, a account, you know, just to show that. So let's get the book of Acts, chapter 16 
And let's start in verse 25. And this was when Paul and Silas, you know, was put in prison. All right, for the gospel, you know. Well, you got it, bro. This is Acts 16 and 25. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loosened. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the keeper of the prison, awakening out of his sleep and seeing the, pr the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. Yeah, so as you see, Paul and Silas was in prison, you know, and they um, sang songs and praised the Lord. And the Lord worked a miracle and uh, shook the doors open. Pretty much an earthquake happened, you know, to shake uh, the doors open and loose Paul and Silas. But they didn't leave. All right. Now. You have to ask why didn't they, why didn't they leave? You know, so this prisoner, this uh, uh this keeper of the prison, you know, which would be something like a watchman. All right, when he seen the doors open, he just knew they was gone. Like who gonna who <laughs> what prison is gonna stay and the doors open? Okay, but he was finna kill himself. Now why was he about to kill himself? Cause they were gonna kill him anyway. If those prisons were gone. He was a dead man, you know, like in the ancient world, you didn't have a, a write up, you know, a verbal warning, a half a point, a point. No, you finna die, you know, so he was finna kill himself. So that just shows you the severity, you know, of the ancient world. It was much different, you know, like you, you couldn't, uh, it's certain jobs that you had that, 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 that required a lot of responsibility that you couldn't be uh, uh, playing around, okay? And if you fail, it's your, it's, it's your duty, all right? <laughs> you slip, you be put to death, you know? So this is uh, the Lord showing you the seriousness of what we do is watching, man. And it's going to come a time where the Lord going to start requiring blood, man. You know, that's why we got to just make sure we stay on our watch. Well, yeah, that's all I had. I just want to get that point, bro. Yum, you had something for uh, oh. yeah, bro. I had, I had something uh, to back up, you know, Lamar. Uh, uh, Isaiah 30 and 1. Isaiah 30 and 1. This is Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Mm -hmm. You continue, bro. Read verse 2. Sure. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Yeah, so our people, uh, uh, Lord say, woe to those people that they basically that that trust in Egypt and they take counsel not of Him, which you know, which is um, you know, His counsel, the men of the Lord, with His words, basically again warning our people to cover to cover themselves uh, with His Spirit, you know, and our people um, that continually for those that don't. Uh, come out of the ways of Egypt and and come from trusting in Esau, Edom, and these other uh, other other doctrines, you know, doctrines of devils and uh, of, of idols. These call upon these different names. Hey, how about Shmuel Shai said destruction to them, man. You know, but but as as for our people, you know, they they trust in oppression and they also uh, they don't they don't want to hear the the raw words of how about Shmuel Shai. They rather they rather hear those smooth things. And you got these false prophets that basically. And giving them those smooth things, you know, and um, make it, making merchandise of of uh, you know, basically of, of of the truth and of of these people, man, you know. Huh. Yeah, that's it, bro. I think you get back to uh, 
you got a Lamont or that um Ezekiel? Uh, come on, bro. Let, uh, can we go to? Uh, oh, go ahead, no, brother. Go ahead, go ahead. I have it's still in uh Isaiah. He's already in Isaiah uh, uh sixty-two and uh six. Isaiah, I got you, bro. What is it, Isaiah six two and six? Okay. All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter sixty-two. Um, verse six. It says, I have said, Watchmen upon our walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. And I just got that because that's going like into where we started from, like the, like the title of the lesson. Like, you will not hold our peace day nor night. The sincere men of the Lord, you know, use the GMS because you can find this truth anywhere. Like, y'all brothers upload videos daily, no matter what point of the day it is, day or night, and you don't keep your silence. Like, you know, you deal with wisdom in the world, but, you know, like when you had camp, somebody come up. You try to get get an answer to the best of their ability, like you're trying to warn the people. Brothers watching the news every day, brothers looking at articles, always bringing something out. So you, these people, they won't have no excuse when it's all said and done. Like the Lord giving them a chance to gather all this information, so they they have time to prepare themselves and get right and repent. Come on. Yeah, ain't no excuses. What they said, um, the house I said, you know, he had not come. They would have had excuses. Now, since they heard this word, there's no excuse. You know, they even had a clip of a uh, 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 Fulio saying he a Hebrew Israelite. So this nigga heard it. Nobody on earth, no Israelite on earth got an excuse, man. You know? Uh, 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 what you uh, what you had on the mic? Um, Jeremiah, chapter 23, uh, do verses one and two. Jeremiah 23, one and two. All right, you got it. Um, you got it, Yashua. This is Jeremiah chapter, chapter 23 and verse one. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right, and that's talking about the, the nation of Israel, man. And you got particular men that had their own groups, you know, that abandoned their their uh, congregation, man. You know, you know, try to find one we always going to. Um, got them new covenant guys who've been missing, you know. Then you got, you know, just these even church preachers who are not uh, preaching truly the words you have by sending me outside to their congregation. You know, these groups who have taken the bag, you know, adding and taking away from the scriptures. You know, they're they're scattering or destroying the Lord's people, man, because they're not giving them the, the truth, man, 100 percent truth. That way they can be fully persuaded in their own mind. A lot of these groups are being, you know, deceitful, misleading. And, you know, and, and, and that's that's not beneficial for their followers, man. It's leading them down a the path of destruction. And they're going to have to give account for that. Like we were going into uh uh ezekiel uh 33 man there's gonna be a lot of blood on these so-called preachers teachers pastors bishops or whatever you know it may be that's not sticking to the uh script man you got it bro the power of israel against the pastors that feed my people you have scattered my flock and given them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right, because what are these people doing now? What 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 are the followers of Trident and Refine? What are they doing now? Where have they scattered to? Where have they gone? Who are they following now? You know, they were they the these this group had a nice following, man. And they were depending on these guys being their watchmen, you know, their their leaders, you know, even though them niggas was going you no know, far out, way left, being wicked, but at the end of the day, they just abandoned their sheep, man. Just left them out there. Okay. So the Lord is gonna visit all these men who have just just 
pretty much just opened up the fence and, and let their sheep and just let them wander off and go over they want anywhere they want to go. And sheep are defenseless, man. They, they're they're pretty much naive, and you know, wolves will come and devour them, man. Some of them probably uh, went back into the world. Some of them probably have become atheists, Buddhist, Muslim. You know, just straight back to being niggas because their 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 guide guidance just uh pretty much left them, man. Just pretty much abandoned them, and that's completely wicked, man. But see, those guys they didn't keep their hands to the plow, okay? They didn't they didn't continue to. Uh, 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 move forward in the things they was taught. They started coming against their teachers, and their wickedness l ended up leaving their their followers just in the dark because they faded away. Because the Lord took the spirit away from them, but that still doesn't exempt them from the judgment that the Lord is going to bring upon them when He visits them. And I will gather the remnant of my flock. Out of all countries would I have driven them and will bring them again to their foes and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them and they shall fear no more nor be dismayed neither shall they be lacking said Yahweh by Shemir And that's what's happening right. now. So, so the Lord is going to... Oh, you got it, brother. Now, I'm just saying that's what's happening now. You know, this word, you know, through... Yeah. through through men, you know, because Yahweh Shah spoke about the good shepherds, you know, and we those good shepherds in the stead of Yahweh Shah while he's in the spiritual realm, you know, waiting to uh, be sent back, you know, and we feed our people Yahweh Shah. We feed the sheep of Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, you know, which is the volume of the book, you know, and sincerity, you know, with no subtlety, you know, so we're those good shepherds, Lord, will we endure that has been set over the flock. You know to feed them you know which there was also a duty you know one of the duties of the watchman you know was to uh I'm gonna read it uh yeah he said they would also guard fields and vineyards from animals and thieves uh, uh during the harvest time you know and the lord likened israel you know to a vineyard you know isaiah the fifth chapter you know, and these and these animals will be with these raving the wolves, man. You know, this beast system itself, you know. So the, the, the true watchmen, all right, those good shepherds have been set up as a guard, you know, to, to protect, you know, through this word until your house shot comes back, you know. What well, you got, bro? Yeah, I want to get. I That's all get, I wanted on that was me, bro. I want to get one, one real quick. I want to get that word oversight, and then young know, y'all, you had something else. Uh -huh. I'm gonna get this real quick in First Peter five, and then we'll get yours, bro. Um, so let's get First Peter chapter five, verse two, bro. Peter chapter 5 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. Feed the flock of Yahweh Shai, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Yeah, so I want to get this word oversight, you know, what you've been given, you know, oversight. And this goes into, um, you know, our duties, you know. And the scriptures talk about Yahweh Shai, you know, keeping that eye single, you know, and that and that word single goes into, you know, um, being good in that office, you know. So when you go into that word in the Greek, it's uh, Strong's G nineteen eighty three, Episcopeo, Episcopeo, Episcopeo. All right, which means to look upon, to inspect. All right, to look after, to care for, to look carefully, to be aware, you know. So the scriptures say, you know, know the state of thy flock. And the only way to know the state of your flock, you know, you have to be tentative. 
you know you have to be visible you know you have to be you know active you have to be engaged you know to really understand the the, the, the state of your flock you know to know what's going on to know the happiness the ins and outs you know and it's a it's, it's a you know it's a um it's a it's the ongoing you know duty you know <laughs> you get a little break here and there but ultimately it's an ongoing duty you know but uh that was it bro um what you had uh young guy oh y'all just had that what you had uh say that raven and wolves matthew 7 and verse 15. matthew 7 and 15 come uh you read it in uh nft bro read it uh can we get it down to um verse 19. We go 20, verse 20. Sorry. Should I start at 15? Come on, bro. Mm -hmm. right, hold on. My bad. I got to change the wrong one. <coughs> uh oh. Fair, let me do this. I got to pull it up. Cause you gonna have to read off the screen, then Yashua. I got it right on my phone. You say you already got. It? I got it on my phone. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, but yeah, there it is, right there, bro. So yeah, in the NLT, you got it, bro. Uh, this is Matthew chapter seven and fifteen in the NLT. Beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep, but are really vicious wolves. Yeah, yeah. So, hey. And the scriptures say, hey, watch out for these false prophets that seem like they have your best interest, but in really they are uh they are vicious wolves, man. You know, just because of because you got a uh a, a person calling himself a prophet throwing on a garment, hey, and they and they coming in um they they coming to you as a prophet, they don't don't mean that you how about some y'all shy sent these prophets, you know, you know, if they, they come in, in a different name, a different doctrine, telling you that um you can do things contrary to what the true prophets or what the scriptures are saying? Hey, scriptures say watch out for these people. Basically, you 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 be, you're really supposed to avoid these people. But as the scriptures say, hey, the blind lead, uh, being leaders of the blind, they both should fall into a ditch, you know. And they they are both of you. How about some y'all shots? You got it, bro. You can identify them by their. Can we get uh? Oh, so look, you got it. You can identify them by their fruit, that is, by the way they act. Can you pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? A good tree produces good fruit, and a bad tree produces bad fruit. Okay. You, got you can keep reading on that, bro. Okay. Just a couple more a, verses. A good tree can't produce bad fruit, and a bad tree can't produce good fruit. So every tree that does not produce good fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire. Yeah, and that um, those good fruit being our good, um, you know, our good actions. And also, I want to say that you can also say that these fruit um, are those people who we basically bid into the marriage, you know, because at the end of the day, it's going to be those that are part of the one third, you know, those who, who basically of. Uh, Following the doctor, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, that's going to be gathered, you know, uh, that's of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha will, that's going to be gathered for salvation. But those who who going against, going against the doctrines, you know, um, basically going against Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, make a mockery of the name, you know, teach teaching the name one time, uh, one day, then the next day they they, you know, they make they making they making fun of the name, you know, or or making fun of the men that 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 uh, standing so so stiffly for that name. Hey, how about Shmuel Shah said they're gonna be uh thrown down into the fire, man. That fire, basically that 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 fire which is gonna engulf Babylon and Great here, man. You know. Come, come. That was it on there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was it, bro. You, you got the lot. Come on, you got the lot. Um, John chapter 21. Um, verses 15 down to 17. John 21. <clears throat> uh, 
back to you, KJV. All right, you got y'all one. This is John 21 and 15. So when they had died, Yahweh Shah said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, and thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he had said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. How I said unto him, feed my sheep. Verily, verily, I say unto uh, me. Yeah, that was it, bro. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. How was I asked, uh, Simon, you know, three times if he loved him and told him to feed his sheep. And I think, don't three go into confirmation, correct or wrong? Yeah, confirmation, understanding, yep. Right, so he wanted to make sure, y'all should want to make sure that he had he had complete understanding what he was asking him and, you know, wanted to get that confirmation. And when mm -hmm. you go into uh, that, that, that word feed in the, uh, in the blue letter, which in the Greek is what is uh Bosco. And it says to feed portraying the duty of a Christian teacher to promote in every way the spiritual welfare of the members of the church. So this is the duty as we were going into earlier of the watchman, man, is to Report things, the prophecies that are going to happen, that's going to come forth. The judgment you have by Shimei outside, that's for their welfare, you know, giving them the opportunity to repent, you know, get the understanding and, 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 and be spiritually ready for the thing that the Lord is going to bring forth upon the earth and possibly the Lord have mercy on them, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and preserve them from all the uh, death and destruction that's coming. So when you have these particular teachers and preachers who are bought and paid for, you know, who are under that 501c3, can't say particular things, you know, um, they, they, they're, they're, they're like the scripture going to those, those dumb dogs, man. They can't bark, you know, they're, 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 they're worthless, man. They're blind and they'll literally, literally mean they're, they, they can't see or, you know, they can't, they can't bark or rather speak. It's just they have that muzzle on, you know, so even if they see the reports, see things, the current events that's happening that they could report on via videos going on the highways and byways, they can't do it because they'll be a, in a breach of a contract that have, they have taken with the enemy, man. But see, that's why the Lord uh, have that, that cluster that he has preserved, man. Okay, those who are not going to bow down, those who are going to do his will, man. The Willie how about see me outside, you know, even if it uh go at least into death. But the scripture said those who die, how about see me outside should be risen first, man. So, you know, the Lord's true prophets, his true servants are not gonna waver, man. They're gonna continue to press on through the spirit, how about see me outside in truth and sincerity, man. It's gonna preach this gospel, you know, saying a hundred percent pure and cut, you know, so everyone can be fully persuaded in their own minds. And the blood would be off our hands. Come That's all I had on it, bro. Come, bro. You had anything else? Uh, you had That's anything? all I got on it. You had some young yacht? No, nah, bro. Y'all got. Come, Yashua. You had some? I ain't got nothing. Up. Um, I think the point the point being made, you know, uh, is that we brought out all the information, you know, going into the watchman, you know, and what required of the watchman. <clears throat> it's just a responsibility that the Lord, you know, has given us, you know. So we're gonna matter of fact, 
Um, we we'll end on. Um, I did have one more. You got one? Yeah. What, what you got, bro? Uh, Jeremiah six uh, seventeen. I think a brother had that. Um, that's how I get. I mean, I get one after you. We we'll end it on that. You said Jeremiah six and uh, seventeen. Uh, All right. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter six, verse seventeen. Also, I said, watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said we were not hearken. And it's just like nowadays, man. You uh, you sit here and you warn your people day after day. Like you say, brothers out here preaching this word day and night, crying aloud, sparing not. But it's like you like you were just saying earlier, the mind, what are they here for a bear? What well, one of y'all brothers said that. But like the scripture say, what are they here for a bear? We just got to push the word out there. And so we can get the blood off our hands. So we don't want to be held responsible at the end of the day. Come on, bro. And this, this is an actual warning. See, our people don't look at this as an actual warning. You know, they just look at it as a strange noise, you know, as a mockery. You know, in the ancient world, you know, you wouldn't make mockery, you know, of that warning. Like you get Amos uh, 3 and 6, you know. Uh, yeah, Amos 3 and 6 real quick. Bro. This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 6. Shall that trumpet be blown in the city, and the people will not be and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and you how about me how shy and not done it? Yeah, because you know, when you hear that watch, you know, you hear that trumpet in the ancient world, that trumpet of warning, you immediately stop what you're doing and prepare yourself. You know, it will automatically send a fear and shockwave throughout the city, you know, and this is the, the, the effect that this word is supposed to have. You know, but it has this effect on the elect, but not the rest of our people. You know, as Yahweh Shah said, you know, we piped unto you, you haven't danced. You know, we piped unto you, you haven't mourned. Like there's no reaction, you know, for the, our people, you know, they're still part of the congregation of the dead. You know, they're dead to the warning. You know, they're, they're asleep. So here it is, the trumpet is going out, you know, but there's no reaction. But in the ancient world, you know, you hear that trumpet, okay, in the city, okay, in the whole city, all right, will we'll move in a particular way. It will be a sense of urgency, you know, you will get everyone within the walls, okay. The men, you know, will prepare themselves to defend their homes, okay. The women, you know, a lot of times the women and children will have, you know, hiding places, you know. So uh, for our people not to react, to this trumpet, that's an uncommon thing, you know. You got it, bro. Surely, how about Shem Shai would do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his servant the prophet. Yep, he revealed his secret unto the servant the prophet. So here it is, because we can see further than everyone else. Because a watchman, he would be on that tower, which would give him. You know, the, the vintage point to where he can see further than everyone else, you know. So the Lord has revealed his secrets unto his men so we can see out further in time, you know. So these warnings, all right, are, are actual warnings. But just because nothing has happened, you know, our people make mockery of it, man. Okay. Um. You can really get Joel 2 and 1 real quick. And then we'll end with that Matthew 26 and 41. You got it, bro. This Joel chapter 2 and verse 1. Blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Mm -hmm. That all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of your advice and your shot coming, for it is nigh at hand. Yeah, so we're blowing that trumpet in Zion, you know, because as we prophesy. You know, in the open, we're warning our people because only Israel has a chance to be delivered, you know, from the day of the Lord at wrath, which consists of famines, okay, which consists of uh, civil unrest, you know, uh, uh, you know, militias, UN troops, okay, pestilence leading all the way up to the nukes because you keep going in this chapter, it goes into, you know, the nuclear destruction, okay. 
but we're giving a warning before all these things all right begin to happen you know and we're seeing these things beginning to happen in face you know we're seeing violence on the uptick okay we're seeing you know inflation you know people having a harder time making ends meet okay all these are nothing but uh uh what you call birth pains okay to the lord's judgment okay we see war you know constantly on the horizon you know we see the uh collapse of the dollar which is the collapse of the global economy which is going to lead to the motb you know so we're not all right just a strange sound okay this sound okay is, is, is a great warning you know so yeah, let's get that matthew uh 26 and 41 then let's do it bro This is Matthew chapter 26 and verse 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yep. So, yeah, I was shot, commanded, you know, and this was not too long before he was uh, crucified, you know, but he gave them, you know, the charge of to watch and to pray, you know, that we enter not into temptation, man. Okay, because one thing about it, when you lose track of prophecy, it's easy to get sucked back into Babylon. You know, when you think things aren't happening and, you know, the Lord taking too long, you know, but when you tapped into prophecy, you see the Lord is at work, you know, and and, 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 and this is a faith booster, man, which keeps us engaged, man. That's why we got to be engaged, you know, like we got to be engaged yeah. what's going on because this shields us from the temptations of this world. You know, a lot of men that we see have fallen out. They really want in tune to prophecy, man. You know, so when you're not in tune to prophecy, Babylon, you know, is still a, a, a big adult playground. You know, you get lost in the playground. That's why I said the flesh is weak, because Babylon is the the is is a lure, okay, to your lower nature. You know, so when you're in the spirit and you into prophecy. It's shield, it, you know, it's something, you know, when we're watching and we're praying, you know, it's shielding us from the temptations, you know, those uh, uh, uh you know, trials of the flesh, you know. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that's it, that's bro. That's all I had, you know. Y'all should want to spark the spirit up with that, with that precept. But, uh, um, yeah, so Lord will, you know, you brothers and you sisters that are five once again. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being an example to our younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation to the hopefully. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.